Good morning, friends. So uh, today is Sunday. It's the uh, 20th of August. And um, I decided since I've been skating a lot more that I would take my old, like, dead plank of a board and uh, just send it to, a gr to the grave and pick up a new one. Uh, you know, big shout out to Long's Board Shop for uh, actually being a skate shop that exists in this world so I don't have to get things online. So I'm gonna try to grip this thing. It's been about uh, five years since I've done that. So, uh, you know, wish me luck. It's gonna be an interesting experience. Also, quick note, um, I got like a very large board compared to what I'm used to. Like, I, I skateboarded in the 90s, so everything was like real skinny, like seven and a half or 775. And I got a board that's eight and a quarter inches, which is, um, pretty like standard these days but in the in my day this was quite a quite a big cruiser style board so I'm gonna gonna enjoy riding this one all right here it is it's not the nicest grip job I've ever done but you know what it's gonna work I'll be able to do some uh, some skateboard tricks on it Alright, welcome to Tuesday, August 22nd. Uh, so today, you know, it was a pretty uneventful day at work or whatever, but it's so nice out that I think I'm going to take a pretty significant bike ride. I'm going to go check out um, well, Fort Williams. It's just like, it's on this cool, like, beach road in South Portland, Cape Elizabeth actually, and you can scoot yourself right in and see some of these old um, these old military relics that are just kind of sitting there on top of this hill ready to ready to be explored. I'm gonna go alone, nobody else is available, so screw it. I'm gonna have some fun by myself and that's, that's okay. All right, so I made it to uh, Fort Williams. Right now, I'm kind of at the uh, at the top of it, and this is kind of overlooking you know, the bay behind me. Pretty when I come to places like this, it's like I feel so lucky to live on the ocean. It's not like I can swim in the water or anything because it's it's like 50 degrees, and I'm like a Midwestern lake swimming boy. But like the beauty that I experience just in basically my backyard is like un unfathomable. So I'm gonna take you around this park and uh, you can kind of see all the cool like military relics that are left around. So this is a really cool spot. You know, I only live like three miles away, but very truthfully, it is very touristy. I mean, you can see the lighthouse back here. It's worth coming to because, as I said earlier, I forget about all this beautiful stuff that's like all around me. And I'm so lucky to live right here because I can just jump on my bicycle and see things that people fly and drive thousands of miles to see every year.
All right, so as you can see, I'm all suited up. I'm ready to get back home. It was really nice to check out these old, uh, you know, military artifacts, you know, I, I, artifacts, monuments of history. Um, and you know, it's so close to my place, so I'm gonna head home, it's about a four mile ride. What's up everybody? It's Thursday the 24th today. Uh, I don't have a super exciting day planned, but what I do have is a bass guitar to work on. A guy I know, Pat, dropped off his bass for me to work on. And this is a really cool bass. Like I often, you know, somehow I luck out and I always end up getting to, to kind of work on like really badass instruments for people. So this one is, um, an American P bass. And um, it's one of the Highway 1 P bass. This really cool badass bridge. It's actually called Badass Bridge. It also is, let's see, serial number. So that's a, it's a 2010 according to the serial number. He also put this, uh, the Seymour Duncan can focus a little bit there we go it's uh, got the Seymour Duncan quarter pounders in it so this is this is quite a mean sounding bass I'm going to start with uh, with taking the strings off of this thing and I'm going to clean the fretboard and do a quick polish on these frets definitely going to clean up the bridge um, you know a working man's instrument like this you're gonna beat the hell out of it. You're gonna, you know, there's a lot of debris in here. And that's all right, because that's what you're supposed to do with something like this. It's not supposed to sit in a case. You're supposed to rock this thing to the maximum. So I'm gonna clean it up, and this thing will be in tip top shape very shortly. Alright, so here it is. Looks nice and shiny. Got it set up just right. That nice rattle is so satisfying. That's it for Pat's bass, and uh, onward to the weekend. Alright friends, today we're going to uh, the Botanical Gardens up in Booth Bay. I have never been there, Sarah's never been there, but I found that uh, it's one of the top things to do on a nice day in Maine. So what we're gonna do is go to Sarah's favorite restaurant, Taco Bell. Yeah! And then we're gonna head up to the Botanical Gardens. Taco Bell. We made it to uh, the Botany Gardens where we'll get a botany in the eyes and see everything that <laughs> Um, botany has to offer in in the eyes in mid coast Maine. So yeah, here we are. Uh, wow. <laughs>
What do you think? Is it time to head out? Maybe get a drink? Arnold Palmer. She's been talking about getting an Ar Arnold Palmer. I haven't had one in years, but I need one now. All right. Much like Lady Antebellum, she's calling out to Al Arnold Palmer. I need you now. <laughs> all right, so we are all set with the botanical gardens. We've, we've been bot botanized. And now we're gonna, Sarah's just been screaming about an Arnold Palmer. So we're going to go and get her an Arnold Palmer and a slice of watermelon or whatever yes. else she's yelling about. So we're going to do that and we're going to go home. I'm going to edit this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. You have to cover up the lens yourself. Ooh.